Hey there team, it's Melina. You guys know I'm gonna check my phone, make sure I'm in the right place. And hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment below and tell me where you're watching from. Uh, if you're catching the replay, be sure to type replay in the comments so that I know that you stopped by. And in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about some organization tips because I know that you guys want some of that stuff. And I feel like it's been a little while since I've talked about it. So before we do that, I want to say a couple fun year end new year things. So number one, June 30th is Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Good morning, Lori. How you doing? I put makeup on before 10 a.m. It's a miracle. I also showered before 9 a.m. So that's great too. Anyways. <laughs> um, so like I said, Tuesday is June 30th. That's the end of the pink zebra year. That's also the last day of the month. Um, if you have any open parties that you want to be paid on in July, you got to get your host orders entered and get those parties settled out by 1159 PM Eastern time on Tuesday. If you can do it before then, I highly encourage it because month end gets crazy. The system will get slow. It happens every time. And this is like the end of a pink zebra year. So there are people right now busting their booties to hit like pink sapphire or to work towards a promotion. And so I'm telling you, when you when you try to log in Tuesday night and the system's slow, you'll be like, oh, Melina was right. Yes, I am, y'all. So, so let's try Monday and even Tuesday during the day before customer service closes to get our parties closed. I think I have, I don't know. I don't even know how many open ones I have left. Not many. Not many that I need to get closed by the end of the month. Now, if you don't want to close your party yet because you are going to add some July sales to it. That's cool too. Just know you're not going to get paid on your June sales that are a part of that party until the party has been settled. So if you close it in July, you'll get paid in August. Just important to keep in mind. Um, also, be sure you have at least $150 in sales volume this month so you can show up on the locator next month. I can't, I mean, every month I say it, I can't say enough about being a part of the locator. It's awesome. Um, I usually get at least, it feels like at least one, one random customer a month, somebody that comes my way that, you know, was looking for a consultant. And um, I happen to be the lucky, um, the lucky person they picked. Um, and, it, and maybe there's times where it doesn't happen in a month, but then like the next month I get to. So it seems to be on average about one a month. Um, the other part with June 30th is that that is the last day to order nature walk. And you guys know, we've seen it happen before. A Paisley's pick can sell out before midnight. So if you have customers that need it, or if you yourself need it, go ahead and get it now. Sprinkles and soaks, you guys. Um, and I believe that bundle is still available that's discounted. Um, then on July 1st, that is the start of the Pink Zebra New Year. So... That's exciting. We'll, we'll talk more about that. We're going to do a fun little celebration. Um, I don't know exactly 100% what that's going to be just yet because I don't want to do too much in July and take away from all the fun and excitement um, that we're going to have with Hometown Reunion in August. But I definitely think we need to celebrate this year. Um, July 1st is also the first day that we can order Summer Days, which is our, our Paisley's pick for July. And we can get that in sprinkles and soaks as well. Um, okay, so enough about the housekeeping stuff. Actually, I want to say one more, one or two more things. Um, <laughs> so if you have a team that you wish to be paid on this month, make sure you've got at least $400 in sales volume in the system by 11.59 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, June 30th. If you're not at your goal yet and you need some help and ideas, um, comment below or message your sponsor or message me. Um, you guys can do amazing things in even just 24 hours. So it's not too late to hit your goal if you're a little shy of that. Um, the other important thing is at the 900 sales volume level, 
you get a 5% bonus. So we do have, I think at least one person who's very close to 900. So um, check your sales volume. If you're close, push yourself to hit that 900 because it's just, it's like free money, you guys. Then if you're um, close to 2000, push yourself because that's where you get a 10% bonus. I love 10% bonuses, you guys. That's like half my car payment. It's so exciting. My commission check is awesome the months that I sell over 2000. And I'm going to go ahead and just challenge you guys. <laughs> like, let's just all get to a place where 2000 is our new normal. So I'm sure some people's like hearts just dropped into their stomach. But if you're serious about doing this as a business and um, making like, I don't want to say like real money. I mean, $50 a month, that's real money. But if you're trying to make some substantial money, some life-changing money, some pay your rent or mortgage kind of money, or take your family to Disney kind of money, then I do encourage you to work towards a place where 2000 sales volume is your normal and you guys can do it and it's going to take time. And I didn't, you know, jump out of the gate doing it. I'm actually here. I went back cause I told you guys I would, I went back as far as I could go in ZebraNet and pulled up my, um, sales volume. So I was able to go to, I think it was January 14. Yes. Okay. I'm going to just read you numbers for 2014. Because that was like, what, six years ago? Okay, January, 401. These are my sales volume totals. February, 1108. March, $1,004.50. April, 16.35. May, 406. That was actually the month I promoted to manager. Uh, June, 439. July, $1,016.50. August, 1386.50. September, 1,020. October, 1,225 cents. November, 1,206.25. December, 1,308. I remember that month. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just remember that. Oh, because that was the month we bought this house. I was like, why? What was going on then? Because that was a crazy stressful time. I don't encourage you try to buy a house in 30 days. It's just, don't do it. Um, so yeah, so in that year, I didn't have 2000 at all. Um, I think, I think I had a $2,000 a month in 2013, but I don't have that data. And then the next time that I had, or the, yeah, the next time I had a $2,000 month was March of 2015. I remember that month too, because that is when I got serious about online parties. And back then you guys, my online parties were like, they were awful, awful. I mean, they weren't awful. They were, they were good for the time, but that was before I learned the tag team style, which was how I was partying. And then now I'm, ta I'm partying, um, using my friend Amanda's pop and party formula. But back then, I mean, I didn't know what I was doing, guys. I did not know what I was doing, but I still somehow had a $2,000 a month. It's amazing. Okay, so, um, yeah, I say all that to say you build up to it. You build up to it. You set, you set small goals. You say, okay, I'm going to get really good at $400 a month. Okay, now I've got $400 a month consistently. I know that between my parties and my customer reorders, $400 is going to happen. Then you bump it up. Then you're like, okay, let's do $750 or $900. And then when you get really good there, you go, all right, $1250. You guys, $1250 is an important number. If you are on average selling $1,250 in sales volume every month, then you're going to be a Pink Sapphire. And Pink Sapphire has some really sweet perks. Um I'll see if I can find a document on that because I'm already talking longer than I plan to. Um, so yeah, once you get there and consistent, you just keep upping the level until 2000 plus is your normal, even in a month like January, even then, you know, we're coming off of 
Christmas um, or the holidays, because like not everybody celebrates Christmas, um, but the holidays, we're coming off the holidays and we sometimes, actually a lot of us, even me, um, we kind of like the holiday uh, ordering deadline happens and we just, we're probably like, oh, we're done. I'm done for the year. It's great. Okay. I don't have to sell anything else. So then the last like week and a half, two weeks of the, of December, we just like, don't do anything and we don't set up our January strong. And then January comes and you're like, <gasps> it happens. Been there, done that. Um, but we're going to work through that. We're going to work past that. And we're going to get to a place where 2000 plus months are, are normal. And then you guys, then your, your, let me tell you the magical things about $2,000 a month. Like could, okay. Could I do a $2,000 a month with just my customer reorders? Maybe, but that would not be just any old regular month. That would be like August when the new catalog comes out. I could technically probably do 2000 just in customer reorders or them ordering new things. But if you're doing $2,000 a month the right way, then you are meeting so many new people. So you're meeting new customers, you're booking parties with new people, which is helping you meet new people. <laughs> And you're having an opportunity to share the business opportunity. So you're most likely sponsoring. So that right there, you guys, is the secret sauce to how you move up. So it starts with sales volume. Okay. Anywho, I'm going to get off my soapbox. And let's talk about some organizational tips that I think will be helpful for you guys. So the first thing that I want to share is you got to have some sort of dedicated space for your business. I am so blessed that I live in a house where there is a room that I can completely dedicate to my business. Although to my husband's frustration, pink zebra makes it outside of this room a lot. I'm working on it, but I have a dedicated space, but not everybody does. So I encourage you to find like a corner of a room, a closet, um, a cabinet, something that can be your dedicated pink zebra space so that you don't have everything everywhere because your family's not really going to appreciate that. Um, if you do have an office, well, I hope your office looks better than mine because, because <laughs> it's still not in order yet. You guys is not there yet. It's okay. Um, <laughs> the next thing that I want to encourage you to do is set business hours, especially when you have a team. So we currently have 145 people on our team and not everybody comes to me with questions. Some of the people on our team probably don't even know who I am and that's okay. But, but I would say um, there was a time where I did have a lot of people coming to me because they were all new. And because I'm like live here a lot, I'm, I'm like, like the face of the, the group. <laughs> I'm like, it's like a, um, I think they call it a constitutional monarchy. Like I'm the queen, but I have no power or maybe it's something else. Yeah, I have no, I have no power, but I'm the queen. I'm the one you see talking from the podium. Um, I guess I have a little power, but not like, I'm not like a boss. And you know what I'm saying? So I had a lot of people, I mean, Literally, this is how our YouTube channel was born because I constantly had people coming to me with questions and it's not necessarily that way anymore. But there are times where I do in a day get a, I get a lot of questions, you guys. Um, and I had to tell myself that it was okay to not respond to those right away. And that's hard for me because by nature, I am a teacher and a problem solver and a helper. Um, I'm an Enneagram two. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. And straight up, I'm a helper, y'all. That's what I do. Um, that's, I think, where I find a lot of joy, helping people, which is why I'm great for this business. But it, it also gets a little crazy when um, I can't just put my phone down and walk away. Um, so set your business hours. Um, it's It's, you know, the thing about this is we don't have a time clock. So we're really essentially, we're on the clock 20, 
not 24 seven because we go to sleep, but the lines of business like times are, I mean, they're, they're not black and white. It's not, I'm open 10 to six. It's um, if a customer messages me at seven o'clock and I'm at a place where I can respond, I'm probably going to respond to them. Or if, you know, a customer messages me at 10 o'clock at night um, and I'm at a place that I can respond, I might respond to them, but um, it's okay if you don't, you know, respond right away. Um, I do try to give really good customer service to my customers. Um, and I do try to take really good care of you guys, but like there will just be times that I just can't respond right away. Um, so I encourage you as you start to grow a team, good morning, April, as you start to grow a team, figure out what your business hours are going to be. And, um, when you, you know, one day you guys are going to have your own team groups. I mean, please stay here. Don't leave me, but like spread your wings and fly and have your own team group if you want. And just make sure that they understand your business hours so they know the times that they're able to get the quickest response from you. And somewhere in here, I have my business hours posted. It's a little different now. Like my pandemic business hours are kind of all over the place. Um, the next thing that I encourage you guys to have is, well, two things. I encourage you to bulk sample. So make your samples in bulk and have a good place to put them. I've got a shoe organizer that I've shared before. Um, and then also have a sample tracker. So when you send someone samples, document what you send. And, um, I think I've shared in the group, I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure there's a sample tracker in here that you guys can download and use. And if you're a paper person, print it out. If you're not a paper person, you can type in it. Um, the next thing is a Frank list. Okay, you guys, some of you will be rolling your eyes because I do talk about this a lot. But when you're brand new, the most important thing you can have is a contact list. Like, I don't just cold message people about my business. But when I was brand new, you better believe I messaged people, friends and family to say like, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'd love to invite you to my next party to come check it out. And speaking of that, especially if you guys are new, but even if you're not new, it's okay to have your own party every month because you may not have someone hosting for you, but you can host your own and you may have, you know, random people here and there that you've sent samples to. Maybe they're friends and family. Maybe they're um, people that you met other ways virtually. Um, have a party. Get in the party habit, you guys. This is like now's the time to work the kinks out and how you're going to party so that you can be ready when our fall selling season is here and where, in my opinion, you'll probably find that you're holding more parties than normal. I know I have a lot more parties in the fall and winter because people want to earn those wonderful fall and winter goodies for free and half price. And so people want to host. Um, so get ready for that now. Figure out the kinks now. If you do not have a party on your calendar for July, you best be booking your own. Book yourself. Work with your sponsor um, to figure out some tips to have a great party. Figure out how you're going to get new bookings from that party. You might have to incentivize them. There's a lot of inexpensive options for you, but it's important. So you got to figure that out. Um, I, in addition to a Frank list, have a customer list. And what I didn't say about Frank list real quick is, um, you know, dump out your brain on paper, all of your friends, relatives, acquaintance, neighbors, people, you know, through the kids in your life. And then we can even add an S we can make it Frank's and think of people that you just know through social media. So they're like, I mean, they're friends, but they're social contacts and, Write it all down. Your list should be between 50 and 100. Trust me, we all know that many people. And not everybody that you talk to about Pink Zebra is going to become a customer or a host or, you know, join your team. Good morning, Dana. But you've got to at least put the invitation out there. Okay, so I have a customer list, you guys. Okay, this has changed my life. 
and my business. I took a half day from my day job last week. My BFF, FFFF, best friend forever, 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 forever. Um, Lori came over and we had like a good, I don't know, hour or two hours of just like get stuff done business time. And it was so amazing. And the thing that I worked on that, well, I had started it the night before and I finished it. You guys, I have a like 96% complete customer list. I have a few more people to add, but I've got customers. I've got the last date they ordered. I have their name, uh, well, their name, obviously, address, their email, and then every month that they've ordered, I have the dollar amount listed so I can track over the course of a year how much my customers have spent with me. Unfortunately, ZebraNet does not have like, they have a customer report, but they don't have an address list report. And I need addresses because I'm sending samples, because I'm sending happy mail, thank you cards, all those things. I needed it all in one place. And can I just tell you that like literally like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders and my brain because I now have that. And I'll share it with you guys in case you want to have your own. Um, so over time, I mean, you guys like start now while your customer bases are smaller. Like don't, don't wait and make a list when you have 90 to a hundred customers. Don't do it. You guys. Um, so start now, start tracking those things. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be like, figuring out a reward system. When a customer spent $500 with me in a year, they're going to get a goodie from me in the mail. When they've spent 750 or a thousand or whatever, I'm going to, I'll figure out all my tiers, but um, I am going to incentivize and reward those people for, for being a loyal customer. And in turn, that's going to make them want to continue to be loyal. So yeah, that's also going to help me a little bit with my follow-up. I mean, my follow-up system's good, but I know that I accidentally like probably miss people and having that whole customer list, I'm going to go, okay, wait, I, I don't think I've talked to Susie lately. So then I can, um, I can go to my follow-up system and look at her, her orders and go, oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, I definitely need to check up with her. Um, cause she's probably out of sprinkles. So it's just, it's checks and balances, you guys. It's going to be good. Good stuff. So I'm so happy about my list. It's changed my life already. Um, the next thing that is on my, my post-it does say follow-up system. So I've talked about, I talked about some of that on Monday night. So go back and watch that video if you haven't already watched it. Um, there's, there's so many like free re resources out there. What's up, April Snyder? We have two Aprils now. It's amazing. Um, but you can find a lot of resources. Um, I know Lori's actually um, doing uh, something with a binder. I saw something in her group about that. Um, so you got to do, you have to do what's going to work for you, for your personality, for your lifestyle. And um, when I made a binder, my binder was like, I mean, it was humongous. I, I can't remember if I showed it to you. I still have it. It's on the floor. Um, I haven't looked at it in years. Um, <laughs> why do I still have it? I don't know. But you, you just have to figure out the system that's going to work best for you. And that binder, the only reason that it didn't work for me, I love paper, you guys. I look, y'all, I have post-its like everywhere. I've got this. I've got this in my um, planner. I write down, this is, this may, may not be helpful to you, but I write down order numbers that are not assigned to parties so that if I'm trying to bump up a host party or if I want to just create my own and get some free and half price goodies, I know which orders are not a part of a party. Am I a nerd? I might be. I might be a nerd. That's okay. Um, so I love paper. I do, but that binder could not go with me everywhere I went. And that's why, that's why I struggled with it. Um, I, I do love paper, but I found something digital that, you know, basically lives in my phone or lives on my laptop and I can take it everywhere. Hey, Donna, how are you doing? Um, the next thing that you'll want to do to be organized. Okay, and I could just, can I just show this off for a second? I can't talk. This is Melina on it. And it's got the Pink Zebra logo on it. And I got it from my Pink Zebra mom. I think I got it in Louisville. All right. 
Um, yeah, the binder method. Okay, any follow-up system is going to save your sanity, Lori. And I'm glad that you found one that works for you because, like, that's really what it's all about. I don't try to push mine on people because for some of you guys, like, maybe, like, you don't love technology. Um, maybe you really love the paper. You have to have the paper. So there's there's options out there for you. Um, the next thing is theme days. And I'm not super, super, what's the word? Good at this. <laughs> I won't even say I'm not good at it. I don't consciously do it. Um, but theme days will, uh, they will give you so much focus. And so um, we've, we've had a document here in the group before of like, like I took someone else's theme days and kind of made it fit for us. But the reality is I'm going to do some things in my business that you guys might, might not do in yours because we're at different places and that's okay. And so I would encourage you really to come up with a document, a checklist that works for you. Now there is something in the group that says things you should do every day. Um, in your business. And those are just like, I mean, those are the common sense things. Respond to messages or emails. Um, check ZebraNet, see if you got any new orders, things like that. Um, but there might be things that you need to do specific to customer follow-up or customer service. There might be things specifically you need to do for hostess coaching or um, reaching out, following up with someone who's interested in learning more about the business. Um, there might be, you know, administrative things like thank you cards. And so figuring out when you guys are going to do those things in addition to when you're going to be selling, um, super, super important. And then the last thing we're going to talk about is goals. And I just had a thought in my head that it'd be cool to have a goal tracker so I'm going to see if I can come up with something that makes sense for pink zebra consultants. Um, and they'll maybe there'll be like boxes you can color in for like every hundred dollars in sales that you get in the month. Like you can circle the box that equals how much you want to sell and then you can color them in. I'll let me I'll think about it. You guys, I need to maybe I'll consult. Um, I have a graphic designer friend. Maybe I can like bribe her to make us something cute. But um, you should definitely have, have goals every month so that you know what you're working towards. And then it is good to be able to track them. Um, and I just think the tracking part kind of helps keep you not only like organized, but also keeps you focused. So if you know your goal is $1,000 this month and you're currently at $650, then you've got, okay, all right, well, how am I going to focus my the next four and a half days of the month to hit that goal so that's all i wanted to share with you guys i hope this video was helpful to you um and i will talk with you all soon all right you guys have an amazing day bye y'all